You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on VeroBuzzTV.com. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Marsha Littlejohn here with Adam Schnell. And, oh, Adam, it is always so much fun when you come in here because we talk about so many wonderful things, but when we're on camera, yes. we talk <laughs> Ballet Vero. How we are do. you doing? Things are good. Ballet Vero Beach, we're in the middle of our third season, and we have um, our second main stage program of the season coming up, January 22nd and oh, 23rd. Boy. And we are just so excited. Um, it's been really, really amazing. We've had a lot of growth in the last couple of years and we've really been embraced by the community and that's just been really special for well, us. I know you and I were speaking just recently and I love the fact that when we think about all the children that you've been involved with at Riverside Children's Theater and teaching them and doing all of this and then to bring them this exposure to professional ballet. Right. right. That's what it's all about, right? You know, one of the best things I can say when I'm having those days where, oh my gosh, I can't do this for one more minute. It's so hard. <laughs> There's so much to do. When are we going to get it all done? Uh, I always inevitably get an email or I talk to a parent of a student or even just a person who was used to going to the ballet, you know, their entire life. Mm -hmm. And they say, it's so special that we finally have a professional ballet company in Vero. And you're right. It was a missing piece in the artistic yeah. puzzle. Not that they didn't all do beautifully. No, no, no. We have great yeah. training for young dancers here, but there's something different about whether they're a six-year-old just starting class or whether they're a, a senior at the charter high school getting ready to mm -hmm. go out into the world. There's something different about being able to go into a theater here and see professional dancers that are essentially our ballet company and say, if they can do it, yes. so can I. Oh, I love that philosophy, absolutely, and letting, letting those children see it. But what I love, too, is that you have brought, is it Nebraska right. to Vero Beach? Right. We <laughs> actually, it, it's funny, we thought a long time about how we wanted to structure the company, and right now we're in a partnership with Ballet Nebraska because what that allows us to do is essentially if you're a dancer for Ballet Nebraska, you also dance for Ballet Vero Beach. So they actually dance oh. for two companies. Oh, yes. Their season is longer, they get to dance more, and they have more of a chance of actually making a living as an artist, which is my ultimate mm -hmm. goal. I was very lucky throughout my career that I only had to have one job. I was a dancer, I taught on the side, but that was it. And some of these kids, they dance for us six hours a day, and then they go and they're servers yeah. and they're busboys, and they work another six to eight oh, hour I, shift. No, and it's crazy, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So we're trying to, with with both companies working together, we're trying to make it happen for them. And not only that, they get to come to Florida. They do in January <laughs> of all times of the year. I know, but coming up, you've got just this wonderful season coming up, and I love the combination, the correlation that you have done with our community. Yes. And yes. I guess just explaining some yeah. of these marvelous, marvelous events. Now, we're talking about really in January, the 22nd and 23rd. Right, coming up here. And we're talking about that on this program, we have two large scale pieces. One is Pastoral Symphony, that's a brand new piece, uh, world premiere, and it's set to Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, which you uh, all will remember from Fantasia, the flying unicorns yes, going oh around yes. the Greek sculptures. <laughs> Um, and then we also have museum pieces, which is a piece that we created for the Vero Beach Museum of Art. You know all about our collaboration oh, with yes, them. Yes, that's so And fabulous. we are thrilled to be able to take that out of their auditorium over there and bring it to our main stage so that more people can see this really dynamic and arresting work. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a little break, a very brief break. And then when we come back, though, Adam Schnell of Ballet Vero Beach, I want you to really explain how you take music and turn it into interpretation. I will. Because it makes us all enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy it so much more right. even when we're watching. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet in Florida. Watch buzztvnetwork.com. Bay Street Pharmacy in Sebastian invites you to see our new selection of holiday cards and gifts. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Now we have wonderful cards and gifts for the holiday season. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. Join us for an adventure weekdays at 4.30 and 8.30 on Buzz TV Network.
Well, welcome back, everyone. We are talking with Adam Schnell. And of course, I know we hesitated for just a moment, but you had mentioned this wonderful program that you're having on the 22nd and 23rd of Absolutely. January. But how do you take music, Adam Schnell, and turn it into movement? Well, I think that that's a question that's very specific to each and every choreographer. I can only speak to what I do. I was, and we've talked about this before, uh -huh. I was that kid that was dancing down the aisle of the grocery store <laughs> when I was three or four. And we're talking way back when, when it was like Muzak, like they would take like classical music and make it canned and synthesized. <laughs> and my mom thought, oh my gosh, if this kid is dancing to that, we have got to get him into a dance class. So I've always seen movement uh -huh. when it comes to hearing music. And for me, uh, I like to spend a lot of time listening to whatever music I'm using. It's in the car, it's on my iPod, mm -hmm. it's on my laptop. Whenever I have a chance and I'm not doing anything else, I have the music on. Or and, watching people. Or watching people. <laughs> She's talking about the ballet that I'm currently doing. So the ballet that, we're, that I'm premiering on this program is called Pastoral Symphony. And I got the idea from Beethoven's music and the fact that he really, it was one of his only works that he assigned specific meaning to. Mm -hmm. He wanted it to sound like a thunderstorm. He wanted to, it to sound like happy people gathering in the country. Oh. And I said, you know what? I think that that's a little bit funny that you can tell someone what something means. As a choreographer, I'm always fascinated by people's responses to what I do, and it might have nothing to do with what I was thinking, but it's great that they had sure. that experience. So I took the fact that Beethoven had all this meaning built into his music, and he also repeats many sections exactly. So I said, uh -huh. what if we allowed the audience to be people watching the dancers, and we saw snippets of the story, and maybe it happened twice, and we have to decide which one actually happened, and did this person actually leave the stage with that person, Ooh. or did it go another way around? So for me, the music and listening to it and thinking about all this meaning that he put in there, it really became the jumping off point for this ballet, and for me, the more experience I have with dance, I've been doing this a quite a long, a few decades now. Yes. Uh, the <laughs> more dance, young. the more dance that I see, it gives me vocabulary when I hear a certain passage of music oh. to say that sounds like this step, and that's how I put things together. Well, now here's the big question then. Because you're doing this and you're teaching it and you're putting it together on stage. Those of us who are sitting in the audience, what are you hoping that we will gain from watching and listening to the, I mean, what is our mind supposed to be well, doing? Well, do you know, I, first of all, whatever you experience is great, but the great choreography the choreographer George Balanchine, who founded New York City Ballet and who is one of my idols, he used to say, see the music, hear the dance. Ooh. So my goal as a choreographer is to, when you're watching it, you see the music, which is not what we're used uh -huh. to. You see the music and you hear the dance. So there's this marriage of music and movement, oh, it. and it becomes this sort of extra thing that goes on top. Well, now you know why it is so important that you attend many of these and all of these wonderful, wonderful performances of Ballet Vero Beach. Adam Schnell, of course, is the artistic director, the CFO, Every, and of course, Chief Cook, Bottle Washer. Yeah. <laughs> everything. But now, how do we find out all more information? The shows are January 22nd and 23rd at our own Vero Beach High School Performing Arts Center. You can go online, balletverobeach.org. We make it super easy. 772-905-2651. Give us a call and we hope to see you at the shows. Oh boy, and then we're gonna get you all back on here too to talk with him and find out exactly what you were thinking and what you were seeing when you watch <laughs> these wonderful, don't forget, January 22nd and 23rd. Thanks for watching Buzz TV. Hope you enjoyed it. During the course of the past 100 years, advancements in technology have dramatically changed forever the manner in which people worldwide interact and now connect and communicate with one another. Welcome, Buzz TV. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at Remax Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well, and we also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to Live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon. Well, hello once again to Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn and I am here talking with Art 
Chaska, and of course, Jennifer Strawn. So we are so delighted that you're both here to talk about the Suncoast Mental Health Center. And I want to get that all straightened up because a lot of people say, well, wait a minute, what exactly is that? Did we change names? We know Art and we know Jennifer. Why don't you, first of all, hello and great to have you here. Thank you, Marsha. We appreciate it. But tell our viewers, if you will, a little backstory on Suncoast Mental Health. Sure. Suncoast Mental Health Center has been around since 1998 and we are a four county organization and we're working most of the, the, the people we work with are children mm -hmm. who have mental health or behavioral uh, disorders and so we have a team of mental health therapists case managers and psychiatrists that are working with the children so towards good. a better quality of life now when you say children what ages are we talking about? Four to 18, pretty much. Okay. I mean, really some little ones down to age four, all the way up to 18. We also do a work, we do work with adults also, but um, about 80% of the people we see here uh, in Indian River County in particular are children. But how wonderful to have that opportunity for parents to know that there is help out there. And I think that's what's so encouraging. And Jennifer, as a board member of this, you must see an awful lot of it as well, do you not? No, oh, we do, absolutely. It's an incredible organization to be a part of. Um, I started off as a volunteer. I got involved with it because I um, struggle with depression and bipolar and being a part of this and being able to volunteer and be hands-on was amazing um, to see an organization where it truly begins with the top down to see how many people care about it um, to be a part of the board is simply a blessing it's oh. something that I I couldn't ask for more from do you know I probably didn't say this the last time you were on but I want you to come back okay and I want you to really talk to us. We didn't put a bag over your head and we don't even have to let people know who you are. But oh, to be able already. to talk to someone who has been there, done that, so to speak, mm -hmm. and what it's like, because I think that also reaches out to people mm -hmm. because they realize that there is help out there and that they can all turn out to be just like Jennifer. Uh, good or bad. <laughs> no, but it's wonderful to know that there is hope. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree, and I, I would love to hope Jen will take you up on that offer, and I, she probably will. Hello. Um, on our car ride here this morning, we were talking about how Jennifer, you know, she's college educated, she's attractive, she's intelligent, she's got a great heart, and her sharing her message yes. about mental health um, issues and that there is help available and having a better quality of life. That's huge. She huge. puts a, a, a gorgeous face to um, something that people don't talk about. And you can see that there is hope. When you can see it actually there, you can read, you can hear, and you can see our horrible things that are happening in our news, and you get terrified about it. Mm -hmm. But I also know that you have had some wonderful programs. Art Chaska and, of course, Jennifer, who is on the board. When we know that you've had individuals like uh, Walter Cronkite's daughter was here just recently talking about and she had what was she depression depression that she went through depression well we're gonna take about a 30 second break in just a moment and come back and have you tell us how we have another opportunity to talk to someone really wonderful because you're having these marvelous opportunities for all of us to be involved with the Suncoast mental health so don't go away we will be right back Plant your business in the Buzz TV ID Garden and watch your buzziness grow. Make a 15 second business video ID. Plant your video ID in Buzz TV programs. Then spread your video ID on social media and watch your buzziness grow on Buzz TV. <laughs> Mark your calendar. Vero Social Club presents Latin Fever on Saturday, January 16th from 9 till 2 a.m. Ladies, admitted free all night long. Dance to music by EZ, DJ Live. Doors open at 8 with free salsa classes taught by professional dancers from Salsa Heat. It's a night of Latin fever, Saturday, January 16th at Vero Social Club, 7500 North US 1. And we are back as promised, and we are talking about Suncoast Mental Health. And of course, with Art Chaska, who's the CEO and the, what do we say, chief cook and bottle washer yeah, and everything. That's about with, it, yes. <laughs> but of course, we have Jennifer uh, Strong with us as well. And Jennifer, you promised me you're going to come back and really tell your story as well. But as a board member, as we mentioned, you must be very involved in all of these different events. I am, and I love it. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. So let's say, you, because if I'm not mistaken, Ta is it Tanya? Yeah. Tanya Brown, I don't know if I can hold this up. who's Nicole Brown's sister, 
and she was here before, and she's coming back. Yeah, we're really excited about this. Um, this is Tanya Brown, again, the youngest sister of Nicole Brown Simpson. We're all familiar with that case 21 years ago now. Was it 21, 21. years ago? Wow. Yeah, right. And Tanya suffered a very deep depression, followed by a suicide attempt, but then a, a, a wonderful recovery. And she goes around the country talking about mental health. Mm -hmm. And we brought her here. This is her book, Finding Peace Amid the Chaos, My Escape from Depression and Suicide. And we named our signature event after her book finding peace amid the chaos. And Marsha, you alluded to that we did bring in Kathy Cronkite, the daughter of Walter Cronkite this past year. And a year ago, we brought in Tanya to speak at the, uh, the first ever event. And we're bringing her back in just a couple of weeks, actually. And we're so fortunate that she's going to be at a cocktail reception. It's going to be more of an informal type thing at the home, the beautiful home on the intracoastal waterway of uh, Dr. Jim Strawn, which is Jennifer's oh, husband. All right. And Jennifer. So I thought maybe if Jen, if you wanted to share a yes, little bit about this, because you have such you exciting must be things. Thrilled. <laughs> Very excited. One of the first things when I went to volunteer with Art and Deb Pizzamenti, who brought me on board, um, was they handed me this book, Finding Peace Amid the Chaos. And I read it cover to cover, probably within a couple hours. It was that great of a read. And to me, it paralleled and mirrored my story almost identical, oh. I felt, from the attempted suicide that was, you know, introverted to where it didn't happen um, or stopped where it didn't happen to so many different other steps that she took. Yeah. It, it was my story, I felt. So I, I immediately thought, oh my goodness. And then they told me she had been there a year prior and I had missed her and I thought, well, darn it. <laughs> so when there was an opportunity for her to come back and, you know, another board member Remember myself possibly host her. I raised my hand and said, please, 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 whatever oh, we need to do. Told my husband later, we'll make it work, whatever we have to do. Um, and so we're very fortunate to have her come to our home. We invited some of the leaders in our community to come out because we felt it was important for them to hear the message, to know what's going on in our community that often yes. most people don't want to talk about. And to hear it from somebody like Tanya who can relay the message so well and get the point across and who has a voice and who can, like I say, say the story so well, um, why not get together oh, and share absolutely. that experience with them? Oh, well, in this last minute then, tell us when we're all going to have that opportunity to hear Tanya Brown. She, she's going to be at Jen's house on Friday, January 22nd. Um, the night before, she'll actually be at the home of a board member in Okeechobee, mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, January 22nd. First. Very quickly, though, how do we find out more information about this and maybe get tickets? Sure. Um, uh, we can be reached at 489-4726. That's the number for Suncoast Mental Health Center. And they can ask for me, and I can certainly relay more information on that. Oh, that's terrific. And you have a website? Uh, SuncoastMentalHealth.org. All right. Yes. You can find out all that information. But, oh, boy, to be right there in the presence in, her beaut in, in Jennifer's beautiful home, how <laughs> wonderful of you to, to offer that. And, of course, remember to mark the date on your calendar because you don't want to miss this because I think we're reading and hearing so many horrendous things mm -hmm. in the news this day and age that we have to be aware of it and know that there is hope. Thanks so very much for coming on talking to us about it. Thank Always. you, Marcia. And we hope you, you enjoyed Buzz TV. We'll see you next time. Stop dirty, unread newsprint clogging our landfills with waste. Go green. Save a tree. Watch Buzz TV. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at Remax Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well. And we also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to Live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn and I am feeling very quirky. I mean, really quirky. <laughs> Leslie McGuirk and of course her wonderful partner over there. And I want to say this right, Chris Cat 
Catellus. Catellus. Yeah. Chris Catellus, wonderful to see both of yes, you. Hello. And you all are working together on this absolutely wonderful quirky bill. Yes. So Leslie, let's start off with you because I know we've talked with you over the years and of course your beautiful books, your wonderful fun books and the illustrations and so forth. What in the world got you into this? this? The brilliant friend here, Chris, said to me one day, you know, these products that you did in Japan many years ago need to be reinvented. Oh. So she said, let's do a line of quirky sea creatures. So she and her husband came up with the name of Quirkyville and they completely inspired me. And when I'm inspired, it just <laughs> flows and then we gave birth to all of these creatures. I just love it. And having just spoken with you, I realize that there is something that goes on in Leslie McGuirk's <laughs> right. brain. Yeah. And it is unlike any of ours because it's what we say and what who did you say was a zombie? Well, people who have stale thinking are, are zombies. Anyway, there are a lot of zombies walking around right now. <laughs> but this is why her books are so wonderful and so creative for all of this. Because I think what you love is communication and talking and understanding and getting the real feeling out. Right, and also storytelling. And what yes. we're trying to do with these characters is celebrate that it's cool to be quirky. That each one of these has something sort of a little bit funky about them. And it's okay to be eccentric and different. And like this, this is an anchovy. His name is Cesar. And this is actually not an afro. It's just a lump of black caviar. So he's very <laughs> proud of, of his little hairdo in Quirkyville. I love this. And of course, your books are so charming and, and wonderful, but I think really when you think about the background that both of you have in expressing yourself and doing what you really want, you mentioned, of course, that you were in Japan. I had worked in Japan for years as a product designer, yes. Oh, all right. Yes. And so then, did you write a book about all these creatures that are beneath the sea? Not yet, but I'm working on developing that, so. But these are all available? Yeah, you can go to our website. Uh, www.quirkyville.com and if any of your viewers want to get one of these for free we're going to have a little contest where if people write to us and tell us which one of them is their favorite we'll pick one and send them out a oh, free Quirkyville. Wonderful. Now here's the key. Yeah. You, you have to know how to get in touch with them and how would that be? www.quirkyville.com www.quirkyville.com yes. right. And if you go to the contact page, you can put your name, email address, and what you love about one of these guys. And whoever is the most creative, we will mail one out to. All right, and I can tell you, you have to be really creative <laughs> because when you talk with Leslie, and of course now Kathy, you have to be very, very quirky, as a matter of fact. But we're going to take a little break in just a minute, and then we're going to come back, and I want you to pull up each one individually okay. and show it to our audience and tell me the name and maybe a little bit about what they're thinking. Okay. Sounds All good. Right. All right. So everybody don't go away. We will be right back and we're talking about Quirkyville and you can buy these I think even locally. Yeah, Lily Pad on Ocean Drive. Drive yeah. Yep. Lily Pad on Ocean Drive right here in Vero Beach. And of course, if you're watching us all over the world, come to Vero Beach and also you can order them online. So we'll tell you all of that when we come back and you'll get to meet all these wonderful creatures. And oh, wait till you hear their names. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just love, love it. it. Tell a friend. We love y'all! Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. Well, we are back indeed, and of course we are talking about Quirkyville. But I do want to say that I was really thinking creatively because I was calling Chris Kathy, but that was just because of that was what was going on in my mind. And of course it is Chris Catillus, and of course with our Leslie McGuirk, who of okay. course we've all known and we've loved for so long. And of course now you all putting this together, we promised our viewers 
because you will have an opportunity to maybe be the recipient of one of these wonderful creatures. Why don't you introduce each of these creatures one at a time okay. to our viewer. Chris, you want to start first with Pinto? Well, this is Pinto. He is our seahorse, and he loves to frolic around and play with his friends. He is very quirky because, as you can see, his tail goes the wrong way. Oh. But he also can hook around your arm. I love it. And I kids love, love it. To hug him. Yes, let me see. I'm going to put that down here, and I will hold it so that you all can pick them up each time. Okay, great. So this one is a fishy swa, or also known as fishy, and he's the rooster of the sea. Wait a minute, it's fishy swa? Fishy swa, <laughs> yeah, so his name is fishy, and he's a rockfish. All of these are based on true sea creatures, and they all have little stories that come with them about the actual creature. Rockfish can live up to 100 years, most people don't know that. And this is his little red chapeau, and fishy sells um, submersibles, used submersibles in Quirkyville. That's his job. They all have, they all have jobs down there. I love them, but oh, you have to feel them. Yeah, they feel good. Oh, all right. All right, next. And Chris. This is Zsa Zsa. She is our Portu <coughs> Portuguese woman of war. And she a Portuguese woman of war. Not a man of war, a Portuguese woman of war. Right. I had yes. to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> and she is looking for her next husband. She has lost a few. They've just floated away from her at sea. Oh. And she, um, she is our hope uh, sea creature. She holds on to hope for her next oh, love. Oh, how beautiful. She has a little crush. Oh. The anchovy. Oh, the anchovy. Yes. But a lot of the anchovies keep getting canned. So. And he can be your next one. He's, well, we already talked a little bit about him. So he's Cesar. He's tired of everyone thinking that he's only associated with pizza and Caesar salad. So he tries to distinguish himself from other anchovies by having the little afro that's really just a lump of black caviar. Oh, I love this. Now, this is an example of how you can be creative when you write in and, and, and go to www.quirkyville.com and say which one you love because you will be the recipient of that if you're really quirky. Right. Yep. And now tell me who's next. This is Peanut. Uh -huh. He's our resident whale. And he is also the One Whale Welcoming Committee of Quirkyville. As you could see, oh. he has a beautiful smile. Yes, he does. <gasps> oh. Yeah. oh, but again, I just, I've never felt anything so wonderful. Yeah, feel him. He is yeah. super soft. Too. Oh. And these are good not just for kids, but also for adults, like for pillows on couches. Oh, yes. Like Adults like them, too. Oh, I can so. imagine. Now, we only have one minute left, so we Okay, we Stetson, go. the octopus. Stetson? Ooh. He's the octopus, and he keeps getting mistaken as a hat in Quirkyville, but he's, <laughs> he's got seven legs instead of eight. And then quickly, we have Celia. She is the matchmaker of Quirkyville, oh, no. and she, once she finds a good match for someone, she gives them her seal of approval. Uh, her seal of approval. I love it. All right, now, very quickly, how can people find out much more information about all of these quirkies? Well, they can go to our website at www.quirkyville.com, and locally they can see them at Lily Pad on Ocean Drive. Oh, terrific. Well, we're going to get you back frequently, and I want to know who the recipient is, yes. the winner, to <laughs> Leslie McGuirk, and, of course, Chris Catillas. Very good. Thank you so Thanks, very Marcia. much for coming on. Thank Fabulous. you. Fabulous. Don't forget, you can get them right here in Vero Beach. Where? Lily Pad. Lily Pad, right there on yeah. Ocean Drive? Yep. All right. We'll see you there. Hope you enjoyed Buzz TV. Join Marsha Littlejohn nightly at 5 and 9 on VeroBuzzTV.com. The fun is happening at Vero Social Club on North US 1, where friends meet for bingo every Tuesday and Thursday. Doors open at 10 with luncheon served and the games begin at noon. Then Vero Social Club opens up the dance floor. Thursday nights for social dancing. And weekends, Vero Social Club eats up. Check the website for Latin night special events. And each Sunday, dance to hip hop all night long. Go to VeroSocialClub.com. Vero's number one party destination. Vero Social Club, 7500 North US 1. One-of-a-kind videos, unique perspectives, original programming only on Buzz TV Network. Spread the word and tell a friend. Stop dirty, unread newsprint clogging our landfills with waste. Go green. Save a tree. Watch Buzz TV.